All right, what's up, boys and girls? Got part eight here today. Um, this one, I think you're gonna like this one. We're gonna do a bit of a throwback. Uh, first, just a quick, a couple of quick shout outs. Huge fucking shout out to Sasha again for the thumbnail. This is fucking better than the other two, I think. And you know, he's uh, he's really starting to hit his stride with these. So, you know, give him a shout out in the uh, dark days or the Discord, whatever. Also, shout out to uh, Meta PH. I'm not sure if he pronounces it that or Metaf or Metaf. Um, but he also said he's willing to do uh, thumbnails and, you know, art for uh, videos and whatnot. So you'll see him in the comments. He's always down there. So if you need something, too, don't be don't be afraid to ask him. He's cool. Um, very, very, very huge shout out to a couple of people. Uh, number one, Peachy. Uh, number two, Kings. I think it was Kings 3411. And number three, Kenneth, who he didn't leave his name, unfortunately, his YouTube name. So I can only go by Kenneth. But he knows who he is. Uh, these people actually did send me something on PayPal. So, you know, I really wasn't expecting much of anything. And, um, you know, they they took the time to do it. So I really have to thank them. And, you know, uh, you don't have to send anything again. Don't feel like you do. I do work for a living, thankfully. Um, so don't feel like you have to send anything else, man. Just like I said, it, it, if it's can pay my gas for the month, I'm cool with it. Um, so to anybody else who does, thank you. And. I just want to make sure I say that. Um, any other shout outs I'm forgetting? Sasha. No, I think that's it. So um, in this episode, again, we're going to go take a blast from the past here. And we're going to go back into OIC. On the last episode, I had said that Swaggins would probably be the first person to have a part three. I'm not even going to cover part two yet. I'm going to save him for next week for part two. But the more I thought about that, the more I was like, how can... Swaggins or somebody else have a part three before OIC does and I know OIC was in the I think the fourth episode But that wasn't I didn't count that that was something different Somebody had pissed me off with that fucking comment and deleting it and changing their name <clears throat> So as far as I'm concerned that didn't count But he, this will be a part three. This is just analyzing his messages and again more just absolutely ridiculous So we're gonna start with him uh, number two will be a very loyal very, very loyal pay pig. And I find it hard to believe that he's not there anymore. I believe this guy's still there under a different name. I just don't know who. Um, and you'll see why I think that. And it's Grazy Dream. Uh, he disappeared like sometime in 2020. I want to say maybe May of 2020. Right around the time OIC showed up. It's not OIC, I don't think. But very, uh, very funny. Um, and then the third person is... Uh, another mess i always say these guys for the end because they're a fucking mess it's vote democrat now some of you if you've been in the restreams you might remember that name from a while back another guy just doing cheers all the fucking time just he has no friends man he has no friends and it'll show in this one so uh those are the three for this video so let's go ahead and get on into it so first screenshot oyc cheers 100 bits and this is just dumb nobody cared who i was until i put on the vest if I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy for you. Now, maybe these are some song lyrics or something. I have no fucking clue what he's talking about, what he's referring to. If you know they're from a song or something, go ahead and post it so I know. Just fucking weird. Just Nobody cared who I was until I put on the vest. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy for you. I have no fucking clue what he's talking about. If he's trying to be funny, what's going on here? And this is how we start with OIC, the original, the OG. Uh, next one's going to be a clip. Let's go. Let's see here. Only Ice Coffee Cheer said, I know I've said it before. One thing that I appreciate about you and your stream is that you're not playing a character like some of the other cartoon live streamers. Not going to name any names, but I appreciate how genuine you are. Thank you. Not playing a character like some other streamers, huh? You fucking muppet. Didn't this motherfucker just have toilet paper on his head the other night? Blowing bubbles. Speak. Where's my fucking Skittles at, by the way? Where's my fucking Skittles? I didn't contribute to that, but damn it, people did, and they want their fucking Skittles. Not a fucking character. You fucking muppet. Just dye your hair blue and get it over with. Wear your little platinum vest. Put your toilet paper on the head. Fuck you, muppet. Dumbasses. Next picture. 100 bitch here. 
I have a feeling tonight is going to be a slow stream for some reason. Hopefully us being so close to the 250 vest streak is incentive and motivation enough to hit the tips goal tonight. You know, blast from the past from the other videos. Just him pathetic. Why are you doing this, man? Why? It's not your fucking job. We talked about this already, OIC. You and me discussed this in the first video. In the second video. It's not your fucking job to be doing this. I have a feeling. To, I wonder why you have a fucking feeling. Maybe it's because it's you that's doing all the donations. Gary BTK, Gary BBC, whatever your fucking name is. Maybe because it's you. Maybe that's why you have all these fucking feelings. That the goal isn't going to be hit. Trying to motivate the pay pigs. Are you fucking kidding me with this garbage? This is the other reason why I didn't want to even cover OIC again. Because I know I'm repeating myself. But can you fucking blame me? Look at this, man. It's pathetic, dude. Next one's a clip. Let's go. Only ice coffee cheers to damn it's already. Ready. Let us attack with each other. Cool, we didn't need this, but anyway. Damn, always a good feeling to hit the tips goal early in the stream. Anyways, a reminder since we hit the tier two tips goal earlier in the day that the Paper Mario stream, we still have over an hour to hit it again tonight. It's true. We can hit the tier two tips goal again tonight, and then again with a double gunner glasses day. We have not had a double gunner glasses day since probably April. That's how long it's been. So I'm not expecting it at all, but hey, it would be pretty amazing if it happened, huh? A double gunner glasses day. Just more of the same. Just a reminder, uh, we hit the tips goal, but we can still hit the tier 2 tips goal, guys. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? How pathetic does this make you look? Don't you have anything else to do? How obsessive and pathetic does this make you look? Giving your master a chance to say, oh, that's right, OIC. That's right. Uh, guys, we, we can still hit the tier 2 tips goal. I'm not ex Oh, by the way, I'm not expecting it. Did you hear that? I'm not expecting it. <laughs> two losers, man. Just two fucking losers. That's all it boils down to. Just one loser giving the other loser a chance to fucking act like a loser. That's what it boils down to. Next one's a clip. Let's go. Only ice coffee cheers. It's funny. Your trajectories are paranoid by hitting you hitting the tip skull. They're not thinking people in their chats are tipping you to hit the tip skull, even though you have a very strong backing of supporters here on Twitch. And the thing is, like I said, sometimes I get the feeling there's people who... There are people <clears throat> who don't like me or, or want to make fun of me, but they want to see this continue because of the wackiness of how it, go how it goes that it's still continuing. And they see how it drives people nuts, you know? Yes, Phil. We're paranoid of you hitting the tip skull. And by the way, you have a very strong backing of supporters on Twitch. Where are they now? Where the fuck are they now that he's on YouTube? Where's this very strong backing of supporters, Gary BTK? I mean, Gary BBC. I mean, OIC. Where are they? You fucking loser. Still in there doing the same exact thing. Very strong backing of supporters. Everybody else is everybody else is paranoid, by the way. Not these two fucking guys. A guy that has to literally change his name every couple of months. He's not paranoid. And Dave definitely is not paranoid. Can't go outside. That's not paranoia at all right there. We're the paranoid ones because he's going to hit the tips goal and he has a very strong backing of supporters. Where? You mean Gary BTK and Gary BBC? Fucking idiots. Oh, uh, look at this. Dr. Tony Huge is at a thousand bit cheer. For, for those who don't know, Dr. Tony Huge is actually uh, only iced coffee. People know because he can confirm look, people who were gifted subs by him. They could go back and see they were gifted by by him. You know, even though it's a different name. So he says, Good evening, Phil. It's been brought to my attention. Some of your regular viewers have been saying I changed my name because I'm going to charge back contributions I made to you throughout the past few months. I want to say I can't be further from the truth. Surprisingly enough, your regular viewers, not your detractors or trolls, have been the ones actually harassing me and trying to follow me around on Twitch. Since I've All right, and this is beautiful. So this moron, he's already changed his name, by the way. Cheers a thousand bits. And he's paranoid, by the way. Paranoia. Good evening, Phil. It has been brought to my attention that some of your regular viewers have been saying that I changed my name because I'm going to charge back my contributions that I've made to you throughout these past few months. I want to say that can't be any further from the truth and it cuts off. But you heard him. You fucking heard him. 
it's not the trolls that have been following me around. It's your regular viewers that have been trolling and harassing me. And I cut the clip off, but Phil tries to fucking spin it to, well, uh, Gary, it's uh, it's the regular, you know how lately he's been talking about the regulars and those were the real trolls and now they're not here on YouTube because of sub only mode. That's what he's trying to spin it off here. OIC realizes that it's not us fucking chasing him around and harassing him. It's Phil's own viewers and he even says it to Phil. And this isn't OIC's first month in there. He's already been in there a while and changed his name. But it's Phil's viewers that are harassing him and following him and bothering him. He says it and immediately Phil has to spin it. Oh, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. These aren't my real fans, OIC. Where are your real fans at now, Phil? Where's your 12, 13, 14 people interaction you have on a 300-person stream? This is what happens when you do this shit. You cut everybody off. Your paranoia... This is what happens, man. You try to spin it so much and lie to yourself so much that it's us and we're doing this shit. And your own fan is telling you who's doing it and you can't even believe him. You don't even listen to him. You pignosis him and cult him. And he's so dumb he falls for it. But this was fucking perfect and I'm glad I came across this one. It's not your trolls, Phil. It's coincidentally your viewers who are the ones harassing me. Fuck off. Um... However, last night, Only Ice Coffee basically said he thinks that he's taken off. He's not going to be back. Um, and I don't know if it was because his goal was always to just hit 500 gifted subs and take off. I don't know. From what I'm going to understand, this guy has also been very generous to other streamers, too. He goes in for a couple months and hangs out with people and, and gifts a lot of stuff, and then he takes off. I don't know. But he said basically he was uh, he was he was uh, taken off, and he's probably not going to be back. So who knows? I don't know. Nothing seemed to prompt it. He just said he was taken off. So, to, uh, you know, thank you to Only Ice Coffee for the support over the last... It was about three months he was been here. Gifting subs, hit, you know, hitting the sub goals, making it happen. We all appreciate that. Obviously, I appreciate the channel support. You guys appreciate the gifted subs. It was very nice of him. And uh, maybe we'll see him back one day. Maybe we won't. But wish him the best. Okay? All right. And this goes to show you how shady these fucking guys are and how much they lie. So OYC, and this wasn't the cheer that prompted that response, but this is, I think he sent multiple cheers. A thousand bitch here, by the way. Hey, Phil, farewell for now. Maybe our paths will cross again in the future. Much love as always. And this was roughly September, I want to say 12th or 13th of last year. And you heard Dave's reaction, blah, blah, blah. So OYC saying goodbye, Phil's trying... I want to believe you, Phil, when you say that you don't talk behind the scenes with these guys, blah, blah, blah. But unfortunately, your track record is so fucking poor that nobody can believe you when you say this stuff. Nobody. So we're supposed to believe that they didn't coordinate this bullshit. OIC is saying goodbye. He's not going to... Dave, you heard Dave say he's not going to be around anymore. Blah, blah, blah. My ass. Let's go to the next picture. And look at this. This is... So that was around... The 12th or the 13th of September. Look who comes crawling back around the 25th. And this is just the first one I could find. Maybe it was before this. But look who tries to come crawling back, changing their fucking name. And in the beginning, Phil pretends like he doesn't know who OYC is. He's saying Dr. Tony Huge. But this guy's so dumb. He thought just changing his name would fix everything. But people that had been gifted subs from OYC realized that. They were given by Dr. Tony Huge now. So the jig is up. You fucking, your cover was blown. But this is how these guys are, man. Both of them. They're perfect for each other. They just lie. They try to get you to believe some shit. They change their name. They try to hide the messages. And then they get fucking caught. And what happens? Oh, well, yeah. yeah we all knew he was Dr. Tony Huge. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Next picture. 100 bitch here. Not gonna lie, Phil. Ghost really hasn't been my thing, but you don't see me in chat bitching and complaining about it. Only reason why I'm saying this is because I've been seeing people in stream chat talking shit about it. They could just do what I do, though. Just shut up about it and don't complain about it. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? You are the perfect fucking fan, OIC. You are the dream fan for Phil. You can't even say anything back to him. You can't complain when shit sucks. You can't just tell him, Phil, your gameplay is garbage tonight. Phil, this is boring tonight. No, just sit there and shut up and don't say anything. 
what type of shit is this? Who does this? And he's trying to say it in chat and put money so it, it pops up on screen to essentially tell everybody else to shut up. But he's such a coward, he can't fucking just tell them straight up themselves. He has to get Phil. He has to go to the teacher and tell Phil. Here, can you read this, teacher? Can you read this to the class? Because he's such a fucking coward, telling people to shut up. Are you kidding me, man? Dude, fuck off. Next picture. <clears throat> this is the last one on OIC. 100 bitch here. <laughs> I think it's pretty disingenuous that Ninja has a donation tips, a donation slash tips button on his Twitch page, even though he already makes a shit ton of money from ad revenue, subs, sponsorships, and other deals, in addition to his multi-year and multi-million dollar exclusive deal that he just signed with Twitch, uh, blah, blah, blah. Do you not see what you're saying, dude? Uh, let me ask you a question, OIC. Let me ask you a fucking question, Holmes. Is it disingenuous to have a marathon claiming you're not going to get your Twitch paycheck and you don't know? You get paid that day and then still do the fucking marathon? Is that disingenuous, you dumbass? How about all those fucking one-day suspensions, hour-long suspensions? He cries wolf and feigns distress. By the way, I saw him say Chicken Little recently. The fact that he would fucking say Chicken Little when he's done all those marathons and all those, oh, my livelihood and all bullshit. And then he cashes out on these fucking people and gets his account back the same day, within hours usually. Is that disingenuous, you dumbass? How about hiding the fucking uh, the Streamlabs leaderboard? Get $1,100 overnight. Tevin calls it out and all of a sudden it's fucking gone. Can't see that anymore. Is that disingenuous? And then crying and begging for money the next day until people realize what happened. Is that disingenuous, you fucking idiot? Jesus, man. How dumb can you be, dude? Seriously. Now let's just move on. Fucking uh, Crazy Dream is next. Crazy Dream was a very, very, very loyal pay pig. Again, I find it hard to believe that he's not still there right now under a different name. I find it hard to believe. Maybe this guy's not even on this earth anymore. And if he is, isn't, then, you know, whatever. I feel kind of bad saying that. But something must have happened for this guy to have disappeared or Phil must have pissed him off and I missed it or something. So these first four are just going to give you a quick example. I'm not going to waste too much time on them. So he shows up one day. Great stream, Phil. 100 bitch here. Next picture, 100 bitch here. Amazing stream Friday, rally enjoyed chat. Great work, Phil. Next picture, 100 bitch here. I enjoy the pre-streams, we can talk to you directly. <laughs> 100 bitch here. It's a shame more channels don't do pre-streams, don't change, it's working. And that's the little four pack on him right there to start with. It's a shame more, more channels don't do pre-streams, don't change, it's working. Two, I, this guy is a militarized cult pay pig of the highest degree. Those boring ass two hour pre streams where Phil just repeats himself over and over and over. And he's literally just showing up saying, Oh, they're great, I love them. You, you can't be sane if you listen to those fucking pre-streams. It's the same thing. His music, his begging, the ways you can contribute, what's not allowable, politics is not allowable, blah, blah, blah. He reads his little current events. He repeats the leaderboard of the cheers. It's, it's insanity. It's fucking insanity. I, I would like to get this guy's fucking IQ tested or a psych test on this guy or something. I don't know where he is now, but and I hope you're not there. I hope you're not there under some fucking different account this guy's got issues next picture oh my god thousand bit cheer shout out dsp chat you're in the fucking chat you idiot just tell them hey shout out thousand bit cheer shout out dsp chat who are you telling this to
next time in, I'm in Dark Dave's, I'm going to fucking tip Dark Dave $100 and say, shout out Dark Dave's chat. Even though I'm fucking in there and they can all see me. <sighs> Again, cult like just loyalty, militarized style pay pigs. Uh, I don't know, man. I just don't fucking know. Next one's a clip. Let's go. Um, shout out to Crazy Dream who did 100-bit series. It's good to hear things that are good on Twitch. Keep up the good hard work. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, I love I love doing what I do on Twitch. I do. Um, <clears throat> I uh, have loved the streams. I, you know, everything. I just love it. I, I, I want to keep doing it. That's why I, it pisses me off that because of the irresponsible actions of a major corporation like Google, right? Completely fucking me over, taking away advertisements and everything. And then, you know, bring them back, and then they're so minuscule in, in, in revenue compared to what they used to be. You know, what did I do wrong? I'm putting out the same fucking content I always did. But let's pay Phil way less for it. It's like, what? How does that even make any fucking logical sense? It makes none. You know, I want to keep doing this for a living. I love it. I have a passion for it. And I want to keep pushing and doing as hard at work as I can and keep pushing through. You know what I mean? And I'm going to. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep striving to, to keep doing this and afford doing it and everything. So I hope that I can. Again, you guys, your support is keeping me alive. I want to say thank you to everyone. In particular, you know, these last couple of months, you guys have been amazing on streams. And, you know, we had people like uh, Austin Mink, who did the, the largest cheer ever uh, in July. And a bunch of other people who were very supportive in July. And then in August, we had Tutankhamen, who came in here and was very supportive. You know, with, with everything. I mean, he cheered. He su he gifted a bajillion subs recently. And he tipped me, too. He's a very nice guy. Um, in addition to all you guys, you know, coming around and hanging out with me on a daily basis and keeping it positive and everything. It's been great. So let's just keep that momentum going. All right? All right. By the way, did you hear that at the end? King Tut is a very good guy. He's a very nice guy. <laughs> uh, you seem to have a different opinion of him on the last video, Dave. But, I mean, this is just how he pigmatizes them, man. He just repeats his bullshit. Nothing's his fault. It's Google. Google fucked him. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't tell you to click on the ads. He didn't just spam people's fucking inboxes over and over for years. And something fucking finally caught up in the system and banned his AdSense. Not his fault. It's everybody else's fault. He didn't do jack shit. And another thing I want to say here is... What drives these people to sit there and listen to him unironically, you know, just do they not have any pro do they don't have any problems of their own? How can you sit there and listen to a guy just bitch and complain about problems? Don't you have fucking problems of your own, man? You want to sit here and listen to me in a 40 minute video, just whine and complain about my problems. I mean, I know they don't have lives of their own, but. Everybody's got problems, man. You're going to sit here and just listen to this garbage. But again, this is how pignosis works. Just repeat it and repeat it and just beat it into their fucking brains till they just give up and don't want to hear it anymore or can't argue. But yeah, and then King Tut's a good guy. I'm sure he, King Tut was a great guy, you fucking idiot. Next picture. Here we go. 100 bitch here. Trigger the trolls. Own the trolls. <laughs> yes, your 100 pennies that you gave to Dave triggered me. Badly. Again, how many times do we have to talk about this? You're not spiting anybody else. You're spiting yourself. How many times do you have to hear this before it sinks in? You're not owning anybody. You're spiting your bank account. You're spiting your piggy bank with your pennies in it. Moron. Next one's a clip. So... Crazy Dream Charity says we need a personal internet license for every person. You track people's comments and report their license number if they see offensive stuff. Now, I don't know if I want to go that far. <laughs> now you're talking about complete regulation of the internet. I don't know about that. That's kind of some crazy Orwellian shit. I don't think we're going to go that far. But certainly the fact that there's no consequences whatsoever for most things people do on the internet has turned it toxic. You want to report people for their online activity. That's too Orwellian for him. How about like mod discords? How about like mass flagging campaigns? How about sharing people's driver's license info behind the scenes? How about your fucking honeypot website? 
telling people you have their fucking IP addresses. Remember that? You might take a trip over the pond, remember, to get that fucking guy? How about, like, making people be verified on PayPal so you have their info? By the way, he don't do that for some protection garbage that he spews. He, may, he wants you to be verified so you have your actual information tied to it. That's what he does it for. It's not for these protections garbage. He can still lose chargebacks from verified accounts. He wants your info attached to it just in case he needs it. Fucking Orwellian. Fuck out of here, man. Dude spews so much garbage on stream and in front of a mic and a camera. But when the fucking camera's off, behind the scenes, it's a whole different ballgame with this fucking guy. Next picture. <laughs> 501 bitch here. Please take a bath. <laughs> so he was playing Red Dead Redemption and he I just found this funny as all. Just when it's out of context, please take a bath. <laughs> It's your weekly shower night. Your one shower out of the week, Phil. Please take a bath, buddy. Next one's going to be a clip. Let's fucking go. We had Greasy Dream with a 788 bit cheer. And he said, Do you agree that hate speech is a form of controlled speech? If you attempt to silence people, they will find their own echo chamber. Therefore, they will not be able to freely exchange ideas with the masses. Listen, I'm not a political guy. I don't know even hate speech. What entails hate speech? Are we talking a certain category of like racist stuff? <clears throat> Are we talking <clears throat> threats? I don't even know. I'll be honest with you, Crazy Dream. I really don't want to touch the subject because it's a touchy subject that everyone's going to get offended by. That's why I don't talk about politics, okay? Um, I mean, everyone has a right to have their own feelings and opinions and to state them, but... It, I guess it, it goes as far as when you take it into practice and how hateful it is, you know? I disagree with this thing. I don't like this thing is one thing. I want a certain group of people to die is another thing. You see what I mean? Um, there's got to be a line drawn somewhere. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm not the person to judge and I'm not a political guy and I'm not going to really go any further than that because I don't know any better. Okay? Thank you for the cheer, though. <laughs> Phil, I think you do know what hate speech is, buddy. Uh, Twitch seemed to think you know what it is. That's for damn sure. That's fucking perfection right there. I don't know what hate speech is. I don't use hate speech and I don't know what it is. Well, and I'm not going to repeat it because then I'll be kicked off for hate speech, but he clearly knows what it is. So just again, it's perfection. He doesn't know what hate speech is. Feign ignorance, feign distress, you dumbass. Next picture. 20, oh, I like this one. $25, $25 tip, by the way. Don't need to read out. Can you review Delta? Although he's a bit of a troll twat, us stream regulars appreciate him. He's hurting and still attends the stream. Supports you either way. You know, now that the messages don't pop up, there's no way of knowing what's on those fucking messages. Sometimes when he's like, oh, I'll, oh, I see, yeah, I got your message in between streams, or uh, he reads them, or he doesn't read the message, but he gives a response. And you know it's some shady shit going on behind the scenes. Look at this garbage. I can't remember if Grazy Dream was a mod or not. He might have been, but maybe Phil banned this guy or whatever. But he tips $25. Don't need to read out. Why did you fucking send it then, you idiot? You should have sent it behind the scenes. Can you review Delta? How, how shitty is this? Getting un people unbanned for money. There it is, man. And you know what? I should have followed up. And saw if he unbanned him, which I'm sure he did. 25 bucks. Us stream regulars appreciate him. He's hurting and still attends the stream. <laughs> the guy's a loser. <laughs> the guy's a loser. Supports you either way. But yeah, just blatantly buying garbage, man. Shady ass shit like this, dude. Whatever. Next picture. 113 bitch here. This will be the last one for Grazy Dream and it's perfection. You know, I always say that, but it is. How do you intend to grow the channel? Getting worried as personally I'm seeing lower interactions. Crazy Dream, assuming you're not somebody else in the, in, the, in the streams right now, you didn't change your fucking name, where are you now, buddy? If you think interaction was low back then, I got fucking news for you, homie. And of course, ask Phil, and oh, interactions aren't down, support is good, not even 24 hours later. Sending out a fucking whale tweet when he's at $2 last night. Two fucking dollars 
sending out a tweet, a big tweet. And who shows up? Gary BTK slash Gary BBC slash OIC to the fucking rescue. And by the way, when I got home from work today, I caught the end of the day stream. Guess who tipped $70 today? Gary BTK, Gary BBC slash OIC. Fuck off. One guy. Oh, and by the way, that reminds me. For the next video, I'm probably only going to do two pay pigs. I want to do something else different for that one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because it's time consuming. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to find everything I need. But I'm going to try and tally up Gary BTK's contributions for as far back as I can go. A few months, the start of the year. I want to see how much Gary BBC has given him. Just straight tips. And eventually, I'm going to get at Phil somehow with this fucking message. I'm going to throw it in his fucking face. Whatever the total number I can find is, I'm going to throw it in Phil's face because I want him to answer for it. And he's going to try to ignore me. He'll block me. He'll do whatever he does. But I want that number thrown in his fucking face. And he has to answer for it. He's going to fucking answer for it at some point. He's going to have to repeat it or answer it or whatever he does. How can you accept so much money from one fucking person? Again, going back to why I can't stand this fucking guy. I'm going to tally up those Gary BTK contributions. And I'm going to put that number in your face, Phil. You're going to, if I have to go in, and I know I'm shadow banned in his chat. If I have to go in there and just spam it and whatever, I'll fucking find a way to do it. I'm going to tally up those contributions and we're going to fucking find out. I feel bad enough even telling people, you know, hey, if you want to support this, yeah, it takes time. But if you want to support it, go ahead. I'm trying to tell people, if you've already done it once, don't fucking do it again. And this guy takes hundreds, if not thousand dollars in like a two week span from this guy. And this is the last two weeks we're talking from Gary BBC. So hopefully I'll be able to include that in the next video next week. But yeah, Grazy Dream, I don't know where you're at, dude. I hope you're seriously not still around under a different name, but... Hopefully you learned your lesson and you went away. So let's move on to this fucking idiot. And we're going to do the same thing here what we did with Grazy Dream. The first four are just going to, it's going to be a quick four pack to kind of put you into this guy's mind. This is a loser. This is the definition of a loser. So he cheers 111 bits. Fuck, I missed the pre-stream. I just got back from McDonald's. Two for four, sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins. ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. Now, did you need to tell him this? Did you really need to tell him this? What you're eating? You're going to notice a pattern. Next fucking picture. 111 bitch here. I found out my local market is, do is only doing the chicken cheesesteak this week. So I got another one with mayo for today's stream. Mayo makes everything better. Real talk. Did you need to send money and tell him this? Why? Why? Next picture. 333 bitch here. Just got five guys. Shit is fire, but it's expensive as fuck. Who fucking cares? Who cares? Why are you saying this? Next one. And this is my favorite one. 333 bitch here. I got a coupon for grape soda in my Boondocks Season 3 DVD collection. You fucking idiot. You spent more on the cheer than what you're going to save with the fucking coupon, man. What is, what is wrong with you, dude? What, why do you have to tell him this stuff? Do you not have anything else in your life? And he clearly doesn't because let's go to the next picture. 266 bitch here. About to get drunk as fuck. Should I drink vodka or whiskey? I'll let you decide. And it looks like he tried to use a Hassan emote. I can just picture this guy on a Friday night by himself in his little room. Just on Phil. He has Phil's uh, fucking stream. <clears throat> excuse me. He has Phil's stream going on the fucking TV on the big screen. And he's about to get drunk. And he's going to have a conversation all night with Phil through bits, not a real conversation. He's gonna pay bits, pay money to have conversations with Phil. 
And of course, those conversations are going to be, I went to McDonald's, I went to Five Guys, I went over here, mayo makes everything better. You know, what do you prefer, vodka or whiskey? I'm going to get fucking drunk. This is a loser. This is a fucking loser of the highest order. Fuck off. There. So. Uh, Vote Democrat Judy says, says the trolls actually harass you daily. Can't you go to law enforcement? That's illegal. No. Law enforcement doesn't deal with this shit. If you go to my local police, you know, and I say, oh, these people are harassing me with online shit like this. They'd be like, that's nice. What do we want us to do? We have murders and drug drugs and car accidents and, and fires and all kinds of shit to deal with in real life. We can't deal with virtual shit. And sadly, that's the state of matters right now. And that's why there's so much cyberbullying, cybercrime, because people can get away with it. There's no watchdogs of the internet who are on this kind of stuff. You're absolutely right. Doing this kind of stuff should be illegal or is illegal. Some of the stuff that's happened to me 100% was illegal. But there's no capacity for any kind of law enforcement to handle it unless it's like a multi-million dollar crime where someone's hacking a bank. Okay. But outside of that, so much shit gets away with online every day. Um, you're not, we're, there's no equipment or situation to handle this kind of shit. So, no. Local law enforcement is not going to care about this stuff. Yes, Phil. Let's call the cyber police so they can backtrace their fucking IPs, you idiot. Uh, I got a question for you also. Should they have called the cyber police when you were trolling and harassing people back in the day? So they shouldn't have done it then, but they should do it now, huh? Let's call the cyber police. I'm going to backtrace your IP. Fucking idiot. Next picture. 101 bitch here. Saw on Twitter that Kiwi Farms is threatening to break in when you're away. People don't think about the consequences of their actions shaking my head. So this is when he was leaving to get married. When he did that uh, <clears throat> tax goal, tax marathon, and then left to get married days later across the country on vacation. So just a little uh, fucking coincidence for you there. But people were joking on Kiwi Farms as they do. And I guess they took it as, or they went to go warn him that it was a serious threat. Just dumb. Just dumb. And by the way, why were you worried, Phil? Just call the fucking cyber police and backtrace it, you fucking idiot. Kiwi Farms is going to... No, no, I told you already. It ain't going to be Kiwi Farms. It ain't going to be us detractors. It ain't going to be anybody that doesn't like you, Phil. It's going to be one of your own fans that you've turned against you. And unfortunately, you won't be able to call the cyber police and backtrace them. Next picture. 111 bitch here. I know politics... Oh, my God. I know poli... Oh, my God. <laughs> I know politics are a no-no here, but I saw Joe Biden at a rally in person tonight, and I'm still hard. You should be euthanized. Vote. And I don't care about your name, vote Democrat. I don't go right or left. I don't do any of that shit. But you should be euthanized for this fucking comment. Walking around with your little uh, two-inch erection. Fuck out of here. Get out of my face right now. Oh my god, next picture. Even worse, a hundred bitch here. Do you like bukake? <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. I don't even know what to say. It makes me think of a, a story when I was younger. I was like maybe 17, 18, and I used to talk to this girl. And this girl was, this was like online too. This is like when AOL chat was popping. This tells you kind of how old I am, but when AOL chat was popping and I met her through some fucking chat room or whatever. And she was in a different state. She didn't live in the same state as me, but this girl was, she came from a rich family kind of, and she was like, you know, she wasn't street smart. Let's put it that way. Um, so, you know, I guess her family maybe protected her. And I remember one time we were texting back and forth and you know, we were like really getting along. I thought she was pretty. She thought I was cute and we were getting along. And she asked me a question one time about, Bukaki, something it, it, she was trying to say another word. I don't know if Bukaki has a double meaning or it's similar word or something like that. And I fucking freaked out on her. Not freaked out, but I laughed so hard. And she couldn't understand why I was laughing. And we were talking on the phone and 
you know, I, I just, I, it, this made, brought back memories to me. And then she found out what it was. She, I didn't tell her. She looked it up and she fucking freaked out. And it just made me think about that. But Phil, do you like Bukaki, you sick fucks? Both of you are sick fucks. Next picture. Uh, what is it? 100 bitch here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Just being honest, if you were more open about your situation, I think a lot more people would be helpful and would contribute. But not taking that chance does nothing but hurt you. It seems every time you're stressed, it's a giant mystery, just my opinion. 400 bitch here, actually. This might be why vote Democrats not around anymore. Maybe, uh, maybe Phil was being too honest for you by lying to you all the fucking time. Maybe that's your definition of honesty. By the way, I think Vote Democrat is probably still around under another name as well, just like Crazy Dream. You're not this fanatical and then just disappear all of a sudden. Usually it doesn't happen unless Phil ran you off behind the scenes for some reason. <clears throat> but just being honest, if you were more open about your situation, no, he can't because he's a liar and that's why he can't do it. I'm, I mean, sorry, he's not a liar um, because trolls would get that information and twist it and blah, blah, blah. That's why he can't be honest, you fucking idiot. Next one's a clip. Let's fuck. Oh my god, this one's perfect. <laughs> oh no, let's First go. First pitch launched. Vote Democrat did a 222 bit cheer. He says, Did you ever get in a fight in high school and did you win? Did I ever get into fights in high school? I mean, not serious fights, but did I get into scuffles and shit? Yeah. The ones that actually was one on one, I won. Because <laughs> sometimes you get beat up by a group of people, there's nothing you can do about it. But the fights that were one on one, I usually won. At the time, this kid thought he was gonna fuck with me, and he was like, like flicking my ear and fucking grabbing me and shit. So I just turned around, grabbed, tripped him from the back of his leg, and pushed him into a whole row of desks, and he fucking fell on his face into a row of desks. Everyone laughed at him. Or that there was the other time in the computer lab, and the kid kept pushing me. So I said, if you push me one more time, I'm gonna fucking whoop your ass. So he did it, and I pushed him so hard into the wall, he made a dent. <laughs> that actual dent in the fucking wall where his head was. I don't think he he liked me too much after that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Phil, where are these imaginary people that you beat up in high school? Where are they? Like, does, he, does he lay down at night and pretend this shit happened and then repeats it on stream the next day? Nobody believes this garbage. And by the way, did you hear him say that throwaway line of, well, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I usually won, but sometimes you just get beat up by a group of people and there's nothing you can do about it. How many fucking times do you think this dude got beat up by a group of people and there was nothing he could do about it? I bet you that happened a bunch of times. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, I usually won the fights, but when there's a group of people and you just get beat up, there's nothing you can do. I fucking bet. Where are these people at? Guy, whoever that fell through into the wall and busted the wall with the guy's head if you ever and i know you won't because you're imaginary but if you ever hear this please leave a message on on one of the videos or get in contact with somebody in the get in contact with sasha or dark dave or somebody or fucking agent proper and tell us this story about phil throwing you into the wall and how you cowered away and how you busted the wall with your head and other guy other imaginary guy that he did a karate leg sweep and threw him into the chairs and blah, 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 whatever. Leave a comment, please. Karate leg guy, whatever your fucking name is. I have a feeling we're never going to hear from you, but... Yeah, just Phil's a big man that beats people up, except when it's a group. Because he always gets beat up by groups of people and there's nothing he can do about it. Next picture. <clears throat> 100 bitch here. I can understand now why you don't want to move back to the condo. I usually don't watch troll stuff on YouTube, but I did see one funny clip of your neighbor yelling at you for being loud. Phil, why didn't you go beat that guy up and throw him into the wall and all that bullshit? Because I could swear when I watched that fucking clip and the guy tells you to shut the fuck up and that's what he said. You cowered like the bitch that you are. You and Rambo just lowered your voices and started whispering like this. You fucking coward. How come you didn't go beat him up? How come you didn't karate sweep his ass? What happened? It's almost like you're a lying sack of shit, Phil. And when people call you on your bullshit and tell you to shut the fuck up, you do it.
Because that's what you are, man. You're a fucking coward, Holmes. Pushing people around. Fuck yeah. That guy must have been a he must have been a group. That's why he didn't go over there. It was a group of people in that apartment, in that condo, and they would have beat you up and there's nothing you could have done, clearly. Fuck off. Next one's a clip. This is the last one. Let's fucking go. Okay. And by the way, vote Democrat did 162 bit sheer and said, Do I see myself doing this for another ten years? I want a twenty year legacy shirt someday. I mean, I would like to do it as long as I can. I doubt I'm going to be able to do it, be doing it for the rest of my life as my job. And as I said, um, more than likely, I'm going to probably have to, at one point, transition into something else and maybe do this part-time. But I love doing what, what I do. So I'm going to try to do, you know, at least as, as, a, as a hobby as long as I can. And once again, we finish on per fucking fiction. <sighs> The 10-year legacy, huh? Didn't we just hear about this the other day? And he claims he doesn't know what the fuck you're talking about. What 10-year legacy? I never said that, you fucking troll. You're delusional. What are you talking about? By the way, he said, I want a 20-year legacy shirt. That's the new thing now. It's not 10-year legacy anymore. It's 20-year legacy. I'm going to start making shirts and selling those bitches. DSP, 20-year legacy. Perfection, man. Per fucking fiction. He just says one thing, and the next day, the next week, the next year, he never said that. You're a troll if you bring it up. You're stupid. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And there it is. There's a lie, you know? This is what defines DSP. A fucking liar. Get it tattooed on your forehead, buddy. Because that's what you are. And again, vote Democrat. I hope you're not in his chat. And if you are, under some name. I feel bad for you. I feel bad. And there's another thing I wanted to say before we sign off here. A lot of what I'm doing in these videos. You know, maybe I don't catch some of this stuff. But it doesn't mean that y'all can't catch some of it. If you see one of these fucking messages. And you think, man, this is somebody that is in this chat currently. Or maybe somebody said the exact identical thing. Post it in the fucking comments. Because if we can start... You know, narrowing down who some of these guys are, it's going to fucking put pressure on them and they're going to do the Gary BTK slash Gary BBC thing and start changing their name all the time. But anyways, man, <clears throat> I'll try to have part uh, nine out next week. This one didn't take me that long to make, actually. I made this in a week's time. So I'll try to have part nine out next week as well. Uh, I'll probably go back to Swaggins for a part two there. Um, thank you for the likes, the comments, subscribing. Again, thank you to Peachy. I believe it was Kings3411 and to Kenneth, uh, Sasha for the fan art. Don't forget about Meta PH. Um, he'll do some fan art. And, you know, if you do support me, man, it, it means the fucking world to me. And, you know, I'll be sure to give you a shout out if you show some love on, on uh, Streamlabs. If you don't want to do PayPal, you can do Streamlabs. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, see you all for part nine. Let's go.